Welcome to Indie Resources 26 video, I believe, on Indie on uh, how to make a browser-based MMO. This is Halls of Valhalla. Um, by popular demand, I've decided to go ahead and do the quest system. Um, it was a total pain to get it to work right. I kind of pulled it from another game, a part of it from another game, and kind of incorporated it in this because I wanted to make it as simple as possible to where you could add to it, and I wouldn't have to spend 14 videos trying to figure out how to explain it the right way. And it is a little complicated in the beginning to figure it out but once you get the gist of it it's not really that hard um, and I made it to where it's pretty unique to where you can it's dynamic you can add a lot of things to it um, but I know a lot of people have wanted it so I figured I would go ahead and do it and it's been a while since I did a video so I figured I'd make some good ones I don't know how many videos it's going to take but it's 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 a pretty simple system to to get in um, if you notice here I've got a quest log here and if we go there I've added the quest log there's nothing in there and then now I have a quest hall that you can actually have open. And let me go into the database first before we do anything. And I've added a couple things to the data database. I've added current quests, which is empty. I have player player quests, which is empty. And then we have quest givers. Um, you could technically the the way I built this, you can put it in any in any game you want, and uh, it'll work out really well. And you can kind of add a lot of things to it, but um, let me just show you the structure of quest givers because this is where it all starts from the quest givers you have location and this this is actually just like it's going to be and let me go to browse it's going to be like crocany wherever in other words for every town you can have multiple quest givers but you can set them up to where each one of them is in, the, in a different town like felix the bard he's in a different town um, or he's in his own town if you wanted you know his brother to be in another town he would only show up in whatever location you set the level I'll go over that in a minute um, the name of it the description uh, and and I'll just kinda let me jump down here on these let's start uh, the required item this is the item that they require to finish the quest the item type which I'll show you in a minute the amount of items is that it is um, how much copper or it's this is supposed to be gold but like I said I pulled it from another game and I had copper in that game but it, I made it to where it translates either way you can change that to gold you just need to change it in the um, in the actual let me set an index here so that goes away so just as long as you change it in the code um, experience that you receive for doing the quest the prerequisite item the and what this prerequisite item is let's say that and this is how I used it in one of my other games one of the training tutorials was uh, a lumberjack said, "Hey, go cut down 20 trees for me. Go get, bring me 20 lumber." Well, when you first start the game, you don't have an axe, so you can. I actually put the axe in here, and so he gives you the axe. Then you can take it, and then you just have to bring back the the required item type was lumber, and the item was the, the lumber, and then the required amount was 20. So let's just kind of see this in action. So we're going to Felix the Bard, and of course I didn't pretty this up very well, but you guys can do that. And it basically gives you the description. Hello, I'm Felix, um, well-known bard in these parts, my songs, blah, 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 blah. And basically he's just saying I got myself into trouble, and I need you to find my flute. So if you notice, I have a complete quest here. This is kind of a, you can remove this, but this is kind of a quick complete for people who are restarting. But if I go to complete quest, I don't have the flute yet, so it's not going to let me get it. But I can go to Felix, I can go to accept, and quest added to your quest log, and then I can leave. If I go into my quest log, I now have Felix the Bard. The location is still coming up zero, so we'll look we'll look to fix that here in a second. But um and then we have you know he's just telling you bring back the flute. So if I go back into the quest hall, go back to Felix, it gives you a, a rerun of everything, and if you hit accept, you'll see you've already accepted this quest, so it's not gonna add it twice. If you try to complete it, I don't have the flute. So let let's go ahead and give give myself the flute just to have it. Um, and if you notice, and now in current quest, what it does is when you say say accept, it automatically puts this quest in here into into current quest, so you know you have it. And um, like I said, we'll figure out why the location is coming up zero. The player quest is still going to be blank, nothing in there yet because you, not, you haven't completed it. So let's go into inventory and let's add that flute. And ID, my ID is six. That's the player ID. You know, when I come back to this system, I looked at it and I was like, man, I really don't like that because I I, I don't use that system for anything else anymore. I, I'm not necessarily going to change it, but feel free to change it to get rid of that. Maybe use the name instead. It'd probably be better than the ID system. But um, let's just add the flute stats. None. It, it's not going to do anything for us, so I'm not going to worry about 
what I put in here. I mean, if you wanted to do whatever you could, unless you sell it for 34 bucks. Randa, just throw in a random ID, and type, let's just call it musical. Actually, no, this has to be item. Um, and we'll go over that here in a second. So hit go, and now I pretty much have my item in there. So now when I go back to, whoops, now when I go back to to complete the quest, you'll notice one flute removed from inventory. Very nice job. This will do the trick. I don't have much, so here's 20 gold. Come back to William. I have another task for you. So I received the 10 experience and the 50 gold that's in the it's in the database. Quest givers, if you notice, there's the 50 and the 10. So you notice here there's a level 2 quest from the same guy, but we never came up. Well, that's because that's the second quest. So if I go to finish, um, now that I've hit finish, when I go into current quest, it's blank. It deleted it out of there, but if I go to player quest, you'll see I've completed that quest, and now I'm on level 2. So this is what tells it where I'm at. So if I go back to him, it's now a new quest. Thanks for coming back. I really need your help. Look, I'm going to be honest. I have a gambling problem. That is where I lost all my instruments. I just made all this garbage up real quick. I know if I had my lucky coin, I could win again. Could you find it for me? I know these are silly quests, but, you know. Um, if you hit complete, you notice I don't have the coin. So let's go back to him. And you may want to change this to where it doesn't go back every time on you. But, okay, I accepted it. If we go into our quest log, the other one's gone. Now, you may want to put, like, a saved previous quest log. And maybe you do, um, maybe you put another ID right here that says that's that's a um, boolean that says either yes or no zero or one one means yes you completed it zero means no and then that way you can separate these two and put completed quest uncompleted quest real easy to do I'm not even gonna walk through it if somebody wants me to they can come and ask me but it's real simple um, and it just tells you what you need to do so now we've completed that in the second quest I've added something a little different so we can kinda show it off If we go to um, quest givers if you'll notice here I've put an item in here that we're going to get back. I didn't do any prerequisite items, but you can pretty much figure that out. It's it's real simple. Just put it in there, and that's what he'll give you on the whenever you accept the quest. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and give ourselves that coin. So we have that. Let's go to inventory, and let's insert. And six is my ID. Let's just put... It's got to be like it's in there. It's a lucky coin. already tested it. None. Zero. Price. We'll make it worth something. So I can... Since it's a coin, but it, uh, it's actually worth more than what your reward is. Um, and then... Oh, wait. we got to put item. And go. Okay. So now we have the item. So let's visit him again. And we're going to complete quest. And one lucky coin removed from inventory. Wow, you found it. This is great. Here, I don't need this flute anymore. Take it and sell it for your reward. Receive 30 experience, zero gold, but he gave us back the flute. If we go to quest log, you know there's no quests in there. Notice, if we go to our backpack, you will now see the flute in there. And we can actually go and sell it now, or however we want to do it. This system is not... I didn't build it, you know... Comp there's a lot of things you guys can add and take away in there, you know, add your own unique distance to it, but this kind of adds an easy quest system that you guys can easily go in there, and you can even have an, like an admin back panel and um, go in there to add quests real easy, and it's a lot like the system I use for Forsaken Sanctum, and it's real dynamic, you can do a lot with it. I'm going to end the video here, but I'm going to come back and actually go through the code and show you guys how I did it.